You do something different with your hair? Oh, I groomed a couple hours this morning. But don't make a big deal about it. No, it looks nice. Big day. <sighs> yeah. Is this just whipped cream? It's double whip. Woof, I'm gonna need it. So, uh, Garrison, about today's mission. You've got cold feet. I just think it's a lot to take on, and you and I, we already have so many balls in the air as it is that I'm just thinking... Okay, first off, never say ball to me unless you have a ball hidden behind your back. Do you have a ball, Austin? I meant metaphorically, we've got a lot of ball... We've got a lot going on. Seriously? There's... there's no ball? No! Can we talk about the mission? Right. Well, luckily for you, I know for a fact that Mission Delta Papa is going to be a success. How could you know that? Last time I tried this, it went terribly. I had to abort the entire mission. Well, last time you didn't have me. We've been training for this, and I was assigned to you for missions exactly like this. It's where partners make all the difference. You're just saying that because you feel bad for me. Oh, Austin, the only time I ever feel bad for you is when you have to pick up my poop. That's fair. Honestly, it's weird when we make eye contact while I'm doing it. Yeah, can we stop doing that? Okay. Great. Listen, I've been your partner for a while now, and I admire you. You taught me the ropes when I was a rookie, and I genuinely think that you are the bravest human I've ever met. Our mission readiness is at an all-time high. You couldn't be more ready. You know what? You're right. I'm always right. Let's do this. I think you guys make a great team. Oh my God, he's so gorgeous. Ah, oh, thank you. Is he always this well behaved? Honestly, yeah. It's his job, but he loves doing it. Right now he's just watching my sex. Uh, Garrison, come here. Everything's good. The kid at nine o'clock definitely wants to pet me, but it looks like his mom has it under control. We're all clear to proceed with mission date in the park. So how long has he been with you for? About six months now. Really? Feels more like five years to me. I can imagine it was a big change. Changed my life, which wasn't much for a little while there, if I'm being honest. Sorry, that it's probably too heavy. No, you're good. I do heavy pretty well, and I love honest. Okay, so I guess the heavy stuff started about two years ago. My PTSD had me slowly leaving my house less and less to avoid just the embarrassment of being in public. My anxiety around crowds was so bad that that just seemed easier. And being home started to feel like a prison that I thought I deserved. It was weird to go from wanting so much out of life to not seeing a single reason to stay in it. And how quickly I found myself being fully depressed, reliving the worst day of my life in a constant cycle of nightmares. And I became engulfed in this feeling, this complete opposite of motivation. Unmotivated isn't really the right word because that's just a lack of something, but I had something. I had the antonym of motivation, whatever you want to call that. And that scared me. Enough that at my worst, I finally admitted I needed help. Six months of working on myself alone, and here comes Garrison. He explored my whole house and saw how I was living, and he looked at me as if he was saying, I can work with this. We ate dinner that night, and then he clocked in. There were the simple things that having a dog makes you do for yourself, like get up early and move your body. I started to take care of myself simply by caring for Garrison. And then there were the bigger things that only a trained PTSD service dog can do. That first time he woke me up from a nightmare, it felt like a turning point. And now I have all these tools that I can use when I'm in crowds. Eventually, I guess he just gave me the confidence to see people again. I'd never had anyone like Garrison before that had seen all of that and could still work with me. Well, I guess I have Garrison to thank for being able to see you today. <laughs> 